hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is mkisa queen from uganda currently in saudi arabia mecca working as a caregiver hope you're really doing great i want to appreciate everyone that takes their time to subscribe to my youtube channel watch my videos from the beginning to the end those that like and share comment thank you so much may god richly bless you for me and the returnees may god richly bless you for me because it takes honesty to do that so i really appreciate and if you're watching me for the very first time please go kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel join the family and let us enjoy together learn together you don't lose anything by joining <laughs> just click on the notification bell uh, so that whenever i upload you'll be notified about the videos so today i'm talking about singles like singles preparing preparation for marriage you know i'm also single by the way so let us learn together because they're like about 10 10 10 points and i hope you learned something from them these 10 points these are some of the things that most of us or most people don't look at and they end up crying in marriages i wish i knew i wish i knew it's not good to rush for anything you know when you're single, the things that you st your friends will start la laughing at you. Hey, what is happening? What what you see your friends are giving back and you're like, oh God, when will I get married? There is time for everything. You know, there is time for everything. So I feel your pain just like the fingers on the hands have different sizes. They are not of the same level. That means any time you will also do it, get married. Yet they all began growing at the same time. All our paths are different. Some have shorter paths and others have longer paths. So just be patient because everyone has their own time. Your time will come. You don't have to be very, you very, 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 I don't know, confused that when you like get married, you get married. And second, never be desperate to settle for less. You know, because you think you're growing old, you end up settling for something that is not even worthy you love. And you end up suffering in for the whole of your life, you know. These are the people you see cousin children. Hey, you kids, what, what, what? I'm here suffering because of you. Those words that parents always utter, they're like curses to the kids, you know. Because they didn't send you to get married to their father. It is you. It was your choice. It was the choice of their father and it was the choice of their mother. Ask the truth of it. So never be too desperate to settle for anything just because you feel you have waited for so long. And then another thing, don't try to accommodate something or tolerate something you will not be able to put up with or handle in the nearby future. That is when you get married. You know, you don't have to just tolerate anything. Some people are in a relationship they're not even supposed to be in just because they think that person is going to change. My idea, if the person does not change now before marrying you, I've ever tested such relationship and trust me, I left it. I'm someone who counsels myself, me advise myself. I listen to people's advice, but I also advise myself. And if I say, Queen, this is a no, it is a no, however much you force me. If you're not the one who's going to be in the shoe, then I will not be in that shoe. Because the only person that feels the pain is the person that is in the shoe. You know? You always in the pain. You feel it more than someone is out of it. So don't try to accommodate something that is gonna kill you for life. For instance, some people hide their feelings and emotions, or their portrait is, it is fine. Yet on the other side, they're actually dying. Always be yourself, because sooner or later, the real you will manifest. Many people are in marriage. When they come out, you see people smiling, showing that they're very happy. But the moment time clicks and they're supposed to go back home, that is when people get pressure in the car, driving back home, in the taxis, on the Okadas, going back home. That's when people get pressure, you know? So just be you. Be you so that you don't die emotionally and that emotional emotional torture kills it kills 
no one should marry you or get married to you because they are doing you a favor you don't have to buy yourself into qualifying to uh, to be sus sustainable i mean it, it is not worth it be yourself you can still wait a little longer and get the kind of person you deserve you know some people <laughs> Let me give an example of this. You know, sometimes when you're in a relationship, there are those people that think they're doing you a favor. All these things I'm telling you, I've gone through them. You be with someone and someone thinks is doing you a favor to love you. Because when you're in a relationship, as much as it can't be 50, but at least if it is 55, let the other 50 be less by 5, so that it is 45, the other one is 55. But if you're in a relationship and you're the one who is pulling ropes, like doing everything, trust me, it's not going to work. And to put it all on, like in this way, if you're in a relationship, you're a woman and you're doing everything for the guy, trust me, that relationship is not going anywhere. And that guy is not taking you anywhere. That guy has someone else. Do research about it. And if you, I'm lying, just comment. I've so far given you five points. So, read the signs on the road sign. Use the same apparatus like the ones who got married before you used. Does the person at least have above half of the qualities of the person you'd like to settle down with? That is what I just told you. At least let it be 55 and yours will be 45. As in what I'm trying to mean, does that person, it, I, there's no one who is perfect, but at least that person should at least have half of what you want in a partner or in a spouse. That person should have half of it. But there, the boat will balance. No one is perfect, even you yourself or even me. You know, even me, queen, I'm not perfect, but at least, I make sure if someone who is going to date me, at least that person, for us to, like, things to work out, he would have seen something and, like, okay, this woman has this and this, you know. I can put it, put up with this other stuff or we can always talk and mend the other stuff. So you have to read the signs on, 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 on the road, on the roadside. People should stop this thing of faking things that love is blind. My friend, love is not blind. Love is not blind. Love is not blind. Uh-huh. Are you driven by love or pressure of being single for the rest of your life? Or because your age, family pressure, or promotion, you need or anything you need in life requires you to be married? Yes. I've ever watched a movie because a man was going to get a promotion, he decided to get someone to act as the girlfriend because he needed that promotion, you know? So he only wanted to use the other person to get promoted because as a manager to be promoted to another post, you had to be married. That is how they could know that he's qualified. So don't be used. Yes, many people are in marriages, but they're just used, they're just there. People are really suffering in marriage. Hey, people are really suffering in marriage. That is why they're telling you, at least use your friends. As an example, how are they living their marriage? How did they do it, like, to reach that point of that they got married, you know? You ask. Now, never let the... Oh, this is the eighth one never let those moments you are feeling so low because you are single drive you into the wrong hands become a job a, a, a sober drunkard at times the challenges of being single can cause you to be drunk and fail to make a right choice mm -hmm. these are self-explained points never never let those moments you're feeling so low because you're single drive you into a wrong hands that is true. Sometimes you get so low that you feel, oh God, I wish I could. I wish I could do this, you know, just because you feel loneliness, by the way, being single is one of the hardest thing. 
I know if you're there, you have experienced this. Being single is one of the hardest things. I will speak for myself like where I am right now. You're single, you're working, you get tired. By the walking away from your country sometimes needs that special care. Apart from your parents, at least you have the, someone that cares about you and like, hey babe, how is work? How is everything going? Is that special someone, you know? Apart from our parents and God, there is always that because I have the rib that I came from, you know? So, but when you're just there, you're single. After talking to your parents, you're gonna sleep, what? You're like, oh God, I wish I had someone, you know? And this can push you because here you get a lot of calls, like many friend requests, many calls, many messages from different types of people. And online people can really make you go astray. Like, not all of them are genuine people. So, just to avoid the side scandal, you will, uh, I pre me personally, I prefer to sleep and avoid such. But to other people, people have done shit. Like, people are really doing shit on social media. And I know you know that. The last point is you always need to drive yourself to the right side of the road. If you fail to drive, be honest to yourself and let a sober friend, relative leadership or pattern or pastor, I mean, the kind of person who will give you right counsel, counseling, not one who is already drunk or in the same dish as you to give you, yes, to give you comprising advice. I hope you have understood the last point, yes. That is why I've told you for me, after talking to my parents and to my babies, like my nieces and nephews, I decide to sleep because when I'm done with work, if you always stay on the phone or always meet a lot of people and everyone comes with their dirty minds, you know, you end up even living in the spirit and it's because of someone you don't know and you start doing shit on phone, which is so bad. So you start a lot of things happen so the best thing you have to do as a single person i would advise you to go on your knees pray and ask god pray and ask god god speaks to everyone yes god speaks to everyone talk to your pastors if you have pastors and talk to your parents also like me i always talk to my dad even before coming he told he told me go it's better you go when you're not attached to anyone because you may end up wasting all your money on someone's son and you end up dying for nothing pressure what so whenever I, i'm talking to him and with what is happening in the news i tell him i don't know that the advice you gave me was really so good because i see a lot of things like people or girls are going through a lot so um I know there's no perfect time, but I believe that since these fingers are not of the same size and they did not come out, okay, let me, they could have come out on, at the same time, but they're not of the same size the way you see. So that means everyone has their own time and God has a reason to worry. So as a single person, I want to advise my single people out there to please hold on be patient and believe in god that's the only way you're gonna go through it listen to this video watch it as many times as you can like it share it to a friend out there and please consider subscribing to this youtube channel tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my youtube channel may god richly bless you for me i love you so much i'm out